Hello, Anikod here, and in today's video I'm going to show you a backup system in case your original electricity system gets raided. What do I mean by that? Well, say for example you've got solar panels on the roof or you've got a wind turbine on the roof, someone uh, rockets it, picks it, whatever, and destroys it. It's only a matter of time until your battery runs out, leaving your sentry turrets, for example, completely useless. So is there a system we can put in place to stop that happening? Well, yes there is, and it's much more simple than people think as well, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video now. Now, for the backup to work, you do have to build quite a simple circuit in between your battery and either the solar panels or the wind turbines, etc. And this is the circuit now. So, you're going to need an electrical branch, a blocker, a root combiner, and also a splitter and that's everything we need for this backup really simple so you might notice there's a generator this is going to be our backup there's a power out this needs to go into one side of the root combiner and then we obviously need the other out coming from the battery which goes into the root combiner as well so after this the root combiner goes into the top of the splitter and then you can use the splitter for pretty much anything we do need another electrical output from this splitter and for this, what we're going to do is put permanent power from the splitter going into the bottom of the blocker to give it permanent power. I'm going to explain to you how this works in a minute. So we'll get the power out either from the wind turbines or the solar panels, etc. And we're going to put that into the bottom of a branch. The second out of the branch is going to go into the side of the blocker, into the block pass through. We're going to have the power out of the blocker going into the force start of the generator. For those experienced electricians, out there you should already see what's happening here and then we're gonna have the branch out going into the battery to charge the battery up one thing to note here is in the electrical branches you do have to be careful what you set the pass through on so for example this is outputting 67 you do want to leave enough power going into the blocker to keep the electric from passing through so for example if we put this up to 60 say that's going to turn the light green on the blocker and allow the electricity through to force the generator to start obviously if you put too little it won't charge your battery up and I'm going to show you this in a minute so once we've got electric going into your turret everything is powered really nicely and as you can hear here the generator is actually running and that's because there's permanent power going through so what we need to do is play around with the branch out power and set it to just enough that it overrides the input power for example now so there's no power going through to the force start so when we turn the generator off that's it all set up so when this gets destroyed it'll stop putting power into the side and into the battery fair enough the battery will still drain however power will be allowed through the blocker into the force start and carry on the electricity system going and that's the theory and I'm going to show you that it works in a minute so it's all about keeping the generator fueled up if you've got 500 fuel in there then your generator is going to stay powered for quite a while so for example then I'm going to sit in a corner and my good friend Ginge Tin Man is going to fire a handful of rockets at the wind turbine and destroy it and what you should hear is the generator starting up and there we go it's quite tricky to hear but destroying the output allowed electricity to flow through into the four start starting the generator up and keeping the electrical system going and remember the generator is going to be indoors so to get to that we've got to physically get through and get through all the turrets that are still being powered i hope you understood this it's been a relatively short video if you have learned something new or you've got any ideas let me know in the comments down below and i'll make them as soon as i can if you liked what you've seen and you want to see more feel free to leave a like and subscribe i do stream every monday and if you're watching this upload on day of release i'm physically on twitch right now probably vr in a horror game so come and join me and say hi and that's it from me so i will see you all later bye